Very few machines make it to their 40s, so it might surprise some people that the cotton gin at the University of Tennessee's West Tennessee Research and Education Center is even still running. But employees here say it's not only running, it's a vital part of the university's cotton research program. Uh, there are very few like it on university um, experiment stations around the country. If we didn't have our current gin set up, we would not be able to do many of the things that we're currently doing. The purpose of a cotton gin is to separate the cotton lint from the seed after the crop is harvested. The lint is used for clothing and linens. From the seed, we get oils commonly found in foods and cosmetics. Brought to the center in 1968, the UT gin is a scaled-down replica of a commercial cotton gin which is great from a research standpoint because unlike farmers who gin large loads of cotton at once, scientific studies are often done using small samples. We have about 2,000 samples that we run of our own research and then we have anywhere from another 1,000 to 1,500 come in from, from our counterparts in other states. In fact, several other research institutions in the Mid-South send their cotton to Tennessee to be ginned. And while the samples may stack up, the gin keeps up aided these days by computers and barcodes. UT workers evaluate thousands of samples each year. But while they use this gin, most other universities use something slightly smaller. We use what is called a hand gin. It removes the lint from the seed, but it doesn't have all of the cleaning procedures that go along to get the leaf contaminants and the sticks and the burrs out. So you can get some inflated gin turnout numbers which can affect your research results. So having a scaled down version of a commercial gin right on the premises not only saves time, but improves research results, allowing scientists to evaluate not just yields, but also lint quality, a very important trait to local farmers. And the more accurate of a job we can do in our ginning procedures, and that allows our producers in the state to choose varieties that not only perform the best in their land, but also has the highest fiber quality to give them the, the most return on their investment for farming. Not bad for a decades-old machine. In Jackson, Ginger Trice reporting.